Um, I bought this hair from the Beauty Supply and I bought um, three bundles of this particular, um, this go round. Um, I did a 14 inch and I did a 12 inch. Two 14 inches and a 12 inch. This is a 12 inch. On that wig that you've seen in the previous picture, it was a 12 inch, um, a 10 inch, 12 inch. Just give a quick review on it um, so that you guys can know the next time you go to purchase what it is, where to purchase it from, and all of those frequently asked questions I get about that particular hairstyle. Um, so this is the Milky Way Q, as you can see, and it is the Water Wave. I have it in a 12 inch, and this is a 1B. Um, as you can see, the curl pattern is a nice, pretty, wavy, curly look. Um, if you want a full look, you do have to purchase three to four packs of hair in order to get that big look. Um, because with this hair they don't give you much you know what I'm saying so you do want to get about three or four packs of hair here are the other two packs that I have and I'll take them out and especially with the longer lens because since it's a 14 inch it definitely doesn't come with much so if they have it in this little net and it comes like that and that's pretty much that Here's the girl on the back. You can see her hairstyle does not look hot, okay? Hi guys, it's Miss Rhonda Girl and I'm coming to you guys with a quick review. I know that you guys seen in a previous clip how I was talking about the hair and I showed you how the hair came packaged and all of that. So I'm gonna skip right to um, just a mini tutorial of me putting the wig on and me discussing the hair just a little bit more, okay? So yes, as you can see, I am completely bald-headed. Yes, ma'am, I went on ahead and chopped it all off. Do you hear me? Baby, let me tell you, I was doing everything under the sun, okay? You guys remember that I went on ahead and put a relaxer in my head and the biggest mistake I had ever made, it truly was. Okay, so me playing around with different things with my natural hair and it just became so unhealthy to me. Everybody else is like, it's fine, but to me, I felt like my hair was just, just going through too much, okay? So I just went on ahead and chopped it off and decided to start all over and this go round, my second big chop, I'm promising myself that I'm gonna do a little bit better. You know, when you know better, you do better. So that's my philosophy with this big chop here. I did make a full custom wig out of it and if you are interested in full custom made wigs, you can check out styleseat.com and check out the full wigs and the U part wigs. I also do lace closure wigs and I do L-shaped wigs. Whatever type of wig you need, honey, I do them, okay? All right, so what I do first is I put this um, wig slip cap on and you can purchase this from your local beauty supply. It's some new thing they got going on, y'all. Y'all know how they always come out with this new stuff. Honey, you're supposed to be able to put this thing on and it helps your wig not shift and do all this other crazy stuff. And it also has like argon oil built inside of it. I don't have the packaging of uh, these caps, but it came three in a pack. And um, it's supposed to be so much better. I can tell you that it's much more uh, snug and, you know, secure. It's not as flimsy as the other wig caps are um, that you use for quick weaves. So, you know, these things are really sturdy, honey. So, it actually has like a band around it, as you can see. And um, it's supposed to protect your edges and stuff like that. So, you know, hey, anything, you know, new, I'm willing to try it, okay? Um, so, as I told you before in the previous clip, it is the Milky Way Q. Um, it is 100% human hair, and this is considered a master mix. As I stated before, the master mix, of course, is mixed with, like, human hair fibers, uh, cankaline and synthetic fibers okay so it's not 100% human hair um, so you can't add any heat to it you can't really straighten it out you can probably add some heat to it but maybe to a certain temperature you know $17.99 for the two 14 inches and then it was like $15.99 for the 12 inch um, here is my wig here's my wig here um, this is how the hair looks after it's been installed. It was actually longer than this, but I did cut it down to like a 10 inch. So I completely wasted my money. I could have did a 10, two 10s and a 12, okay? Um, however, I just, I don't know. I just, when I when I start to look at it, it was just too long and I knew I wanted the cut to be at my shoulder. So, of course, with this hair, the curls were super duper tight. 
um, you do have to pick out the curls so that it can have a more natural appeal to it because the tighter the curls, the more shiner it looks because again, this is a master mix. So it does tend to have that shine to it that, you know, we just do not like. So with that being said, you want to pick out those curls as much as you possibly can to make this hair big. Okay, we are going for big. So, um, my cap fits perfect to my head because just like I do with all my clients when I'm making their wigs, I do the consultation to determine what size cap I need to do and where I need to make um, any you know changes as far as the wig cap so that the wig can fit you comfortably okay whereas if you're buying a wig at the store you have to pretty much work with what they give you um, with this cap it is super snug to my itty bitty pea head as you can see honey I got a pea head okay so um, my wig cap has to fit me snug and if my cap doesn't fit me snug I feel a little uncomfortable I'm afraid that the wind is gonna blow and I'm gonna have some issues some see-through issues and we don't want that okay so I'm going to go ahead and put my cap on as you can see how snug see the way I'm pulling it you can tell that it's tight right so here's the wig on I put it on and made sure it was snug and I just kind of styled it out a little bit for you I kind of like the messy bed head curly look um, where it's not so organized, it's not so put together, it's just like everywhere and I kind of like that look, it just gives me a more earthly, you know what I'm saying, vibe and I'm loving that. So um, I love this hair guys because it's so inexpensive and it's just pick up and go. Girl, I don't have time. It's a really soft texture to it. Um, it's not like, uh, it doesn't feel like Kangalon hair or any master mix blend. It does feel like human hair. Um, the only thing is that you want to make sure you're using products to um, hold that curl and to, um, you know, give you that, uh, you know, that natural look. So I use, um, okay, my curls, I will use this uh, coconut milk nourishing stuff and it's just I'm using this because I don't want the hair to start to look dry uh, I don't put any oil sheens in it because um, it'll this hair will hold oil like no other and it'll start looking like wiggy wiggy shiny wiggy okay so I refrain from using the oils I'm using more of a moisturizing type agent um, this is some very inexpensive stuff and it's just gonna you know kind of moisturize a little bit live it up um you can get this at walgreens walmart i believe target may sell it garnier fruities frizz ease this also helps with the curls um this is a curl reviver um it just activates those curls make them more defined and it also you know tones down that frizziness that tends to happen when you have curly hair textures like this okay so you know um that's it i hope i answered all your questions i got a 1b going on in my head now um is it light yes even though i have three packs of hair in my head my head still feels light it doesn't feel like i have tons of hair in my head um the hair is not itchy because it's not on my scalp and that's the great alternative to wearing a full custom wig because you can pull this off at any moment and then the hair is not, you know how sometimes the beards bother your scalp when they're poking at your scalp, you know, with this you don't have to worry about the beards bothering you because they're touching the, the cap more so than your scalp okay so um, it's just a, a healthy alternative for people who are trying to grow their hair like me if you're natural if you're transitioning if you just want something easy where you can take on and take off whenever you want to I just feel like this would be an easier alternative for you ladies that may be you know uh, going through that and even if you have like balding areas or you have troubled areas and you don't want to add much stress or strain um, as far as tightness to your head, this is a very healthy one because people have tried to, you know, mimic and do this style and they only come with two packs of hair. And that's not going to do, boo. You need three, baby. Three or four, honey, if you want big, big hair, okay? So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you some info about this wig. If you have any questions uh, regarding this video, leave your questions below. You can inbox me on Facebook. Um, like I said, you can also book your appointment on StyleSeat.com and look for custom wig, custom full wig, or custom U part wigs, okay? Hope I answered all your questions today. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.